Hey guys, and welcome to another Tech Time with me, Morbidos. As many of you know, I have recently rebuilt my entire computer with a new case and some new cooling hardware. Exactly what kind of hardware and what kind of case is a topic for another video. Today we're going to talk about this little guy, the Aqua Computer Aqua Aero 6 LT USB. The Aqua Aero 6 USB is a programmable fan controller which means you can control it through software instead of physical knobs on the unit itself. It has four fan outputs that can handle up to 30 watt each and they're all four pin connectors that can be switched between speed, voltage and RPM control. It has eight temperature sensor inputs. Though it only comes with four leads, you can add up to four more. It has a flow sensor input and via its Aquabus port you can connect up to two Aquastream XT or Ultimate water pumps. Other than that, this thing has so many features that I would have to make an entire separate video to cover them all. For a full list of features, please check out the Aqua Computer link in the description. Now let's get down to how I have wired it up and how I intend to use it. As you can see, I didn't really find a good mounting spot for it, so I stuck it here with one screw and some sticky stuff on the other end to hold it. I couldn't remove the standoffs and mount it flush because underneath the PCB there is a connector for a monitor. Yes, you can actually connect a monitor to it, then the unit becomes the Aqua Aero 6 Pro. I might do that in the future, but for now I need it because it's software controlled. Now that's how everything is connected hardware wise. Let's jump into the software and have a look at how I've set that up to control and monitor all my temperatures and fans. This is the AquaSuit software. You get this when you buy selected Aqua computer products and it's not the best looking software out there, but bear with it because it is quite clever. When you start the program, it'll auto detect all supported hardware and list them in this menu. Depending on your setup, it might look different than mine. I have the pump hooked up to the Aqua Aero via the Aqua Bus, so mine just shows the Aero, but if I click it, it folds down and here you can see its vast variety of options and functions. Under pumps, we find my Aqua Stream XT pump. My pump has a built-in controller that is basically just a miniature version of the Aqua Aero, but since I intend to do a push-pull fan setup in the future, I need the extra fan connections to run all six fans off one controller. Now I'll show you how my fans, sensors and curves are set up. Under the sensors tab, you have a list of all available sensors, both actual sensors connected to the controller and virtual ones in your hardware. And this is where the software jumps ahead of its competitors, because on each and every one of these sensors, you can change both its name so you can recognize them easily and its offset. So if you run a newer Ryzen CPU, you can get rid of that pesky 20 plus degrees offset AMD has put on them. Easy breezy. This is also one of the very few softwares I have found that can actually pick up the correct CPU temperature from this Asus Crosshair 5 Formula Z motherboard running the FX9590. After having set up the sensors, you need to set up your fans so you know their names and you know that they work correctly. The controller supports speed control, voltage control and PWM controlled fans. So almost regardless of your fans, you are covered. Once your fans have gotten easy to identify names, head over to the controllers tab and let's get down to actually setting things up. Setting up controllers isn't really hard. After you've set up your fans and sensor names, all you gotta do is use your head. To create a new controller, click the add plus button in the top right and select the type of controller you want. For temperatures, I use curve controllers, but you can play around with the different types and find what you like. For now, we're going to stick with curve controllers. Once you have a new curve controller, you start by selecting its data source. Let's set up one for my chipset fan and let's base it off one of my temperature sensors on the chipset. I'm going to go with the chipset top as it has the highest temperature value which is what I want. 
to control. Now next we need to set up the controller output. Here we can choose from all available outputs. We're going to select chipset fan. You might notice the fan is currently going flat out 100%. That is its default as long as there is no controller present linked to it. Now we're going to need to alter that fan curve because we don't want it to ramp the fan up too early. So let's click automatic setup. We know the temp is above the maximum temp currently on idle. So let's set that to a higher value. Let's say 80 and the minimum should be about 40. That gives us a nice range that I know it usually sits in between. For your setup, you might have to monitor it over time and choose accordingly. But let's move that slider all the way to the right to get the fan curve that is a bit better looking for our needs. There we go. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to set up a fan control in the Aqua Suit software. Repeat this for all your fans and all your sensors and you should be golden. In the overview page, there is a demo page that comes with the software. Even though they recommend you make your own, I find this page to suit my needs with a few small adjustments, such as adding the GPU and CPU temp. You can customize this view to make your own with so many options for data views and colors and stuff that you wouldn't believe me if I told you half of it. And I don't even understand half of it myself. It's that complex. But if that tickles your pickle, then you can dive in and make probably anything with it. As I said, I like the standard page quite well, so I have stuck with it. The software even comes with a live web view feature called Aquasuit Web. In here, you set up an entire overview page that is available via Aqua Computer's servers, and it gives you live information about your computer's health on the go. I had some concerns as to the safety of the service, so I had Dunphy check it out since computer security is his field of study. And according to him, it is safe to use. It does take a little bit while to set up because uh, you got to get all your settings correct. But in the end, it looks like this. You can probably do more, but this is what I needed. And this works out great on my cell phone. That's just fine and dandy. And that's how I have connected and set up my fan controllers. Now, if there's anything you want me to try with this or you're wondering about regarding this, let me know in the comment section below and I'll check it out and give you a reply. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. Please click a thumbs up if you liked it and a thumbs down if you didn't. And if you haven't already, please consider clicking the subscribe button to our channel.